Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're all safe and well. This video is on Lot ATC and how to do GCI and ATC in DCS World. A lot of people have messaged me recently and asked about GCI and ATC in DCS World. And it is something you can do and you can do it really well with a bit of software called Lot ATC. Now don't get me wrong, you can do GCI and ATC from the F10 menu but it's not as effective as if you have a dedicated program like Lot ATC to do it. Now, I will caveat this by saying straight away that Lot ATC isn't free. For a license, it costs about 25 euros, but if you get up to 20 licenses, it costs 15 euros. There's a 40% discount. If there's multiple licenses, you can message the creator of it, but any deal would have to be done directly through him. Think of it as another module, so you'll spend... 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars depending on sales on different aircraft. This is the GCI and ATC module. So if that's something that really floats your boat and something you want to do, then I highly recommend it. I'll include in the description below a link to the Lot ATC website where you can go and have a look, see if it's something for you and download it. There's full installation instructions there. The important thing to note is to treat Lot ATC like another module. So you're not just going to jump on an A10 and know how to start up taxi and take off and then use its weapons. With GCI and air traffic control, there's a few things that you need to know to get yourself up and running. The biggest one being code words and how to call in picture either in bullseye or in bra. Now I'm not going to cover the ATC side of it too much because I'm not an air traffic controller, I'm a fighter controller. So I'm used to doing all that stuff. To be an effective GCI, you need to be able to prioritise what's the biggest threat for your aircraft and then make sure you direct the aircraft at the right time. So an SU-25 is less of a threat when comparing it to a flanker or a MiG-29. So you're going to direct your aircraft to engage the fighters first and bombers second. Again, that's dependent on if you're defending an airfield, but for the most part in the multiplayer servers, you're going to want to take down those fighters first to control the air and then worry about bombers and helicopters. I've done a few videos before which cover the basics of GCI with code words and also a few live streams where I performed as GCI for other squadrons in DCS. I recommend checking them out. It's going to give you a basic grounding of what GCI should sound like and what you should be doing when you're fulfilling that role. So once you've got it installed, you want to open up your lot ATC and then you're going to type in the server address to connect it to a server. Now in this example, I'm just connecting to my own server for the purposes of this video, but for multiplayer, you're gonna to wanna to connect to the IP address of the multiplayer server. The default password is blue, if you wanna be a blue GCI or ATC, and red for red, ATC and GCI. If you're connecting to a public server, it may have their own password rather than blue or red, but that's something you wanna discuss with the people that are running that server. There's other websites that you can add on images and details on the lot ATC map. So danger areas and tanker tow lines, different bullseye points. So if you've got a squadron mission going, you can put in all unique points. I'm not going to cover that in this video because it's too in depth for what the purpose of this one is. So at the top of the screen, you have the concentric rings. That's the bullseye point. If you click on that tab and it highlights underneath, that's going to mean when you right click your cursor on the screen, it's going to give you a bearing and range from the bullseye point to your cursor. Now to change that, so you just given bra to individual aircraft because not everyone knows how to use bullseye. So if you're going to use bra, you just deselect that tab. And then when you right click, it's going to go from where you click on the screen and drag out to a different point. So you can give bullseye or bra during the missions. Now you may think it's easy just to give bra to everyone because it's a heads up straight away. However, if you've got six or seven aircraft all on channel, that means you're given six or seven separate bra calls. Whereas if you give one bullseye call, all of those friendly aircraft should know where the target is. So if you don't know how to use bullseye, I recommend learning how to use bullseye as a fighter and of course, as a controller. I've got a video on how to set it up in the F-18, I will work on other aircraft when I get the chance. Moving on to ATC, we've all been on that multiplayer server where you've got 10, 15 aircraft all at the same airfield, all calling up on SRS saying, 
Taxi Runway 22 or Taxi Runway 04. So you end up having people taking off heading towards each other. So to avoid that, we can use Locked ATC to perform the role of air traffic control at a certain airfield. So here at Sochi, I'm going to right click and then open the properties of Sochi. And then it gives me something called the airfield view. So if I click that and then zoom in, I'm going to be able to see all the traffic on the ground at Sochi. So I can operate as air traffic control ground and tower. So I can look at everyone's call sign and tell them where to taxi and what runway to taxi to. So if you are using a server that has human ATC, listen to them because they might kick you if you don't and make sure you follow their instructions. Now also, if the weather's particularly bad or an aircraft has some sort of trouble and they're having um, problems finding the airfield visually, you can open up the precision approach radar and then guide them down the glide slope. So up a bit, down a bit, left a bit, right a bit. Obviously more complex than that, but I'm not an ATC instructor, so I'm not gonna dare cover that because I'd just make myself look foolish. Now I'm gonna discuss the problem with lot ATC. The problem I've found when I've been doing the GCI on the servers is not everyone checks in with the human GCI. Now that's fine because people don't like talking on the radio or they can't talk on the radio because they've got a baby sleeping in the next room or for, for whatever reason, they just don't want to talk on the radio. That's perfectly acceptable. But it is frustrating as GCI because you can't direct them towards hostiles. You can't warn them about hostiles and you can't warn them that they're about to shoot down a friendly, which I've seen happen on servers, even though I'm screaming out that it's friendly. If they're not listening, they ain't going to hear you. It's, you might as well talk to a chicken. So how can you help as the pilot? If you're on a server that has a human GCI frequency, I recommend tuning that in. Now, not all aircraft can have multiple UHF radios selected, but the ones that do, tune in the human GCI. He might be there, he might not be there. And if you hear someone call sunrise, that means they are turning on their human GCI. So for example, I'd say on a common frequency, let's say it was 253, I'd say magic is sunrise on 134. That would let everyone know and becoming the human GCI on the frequency 134 and then the fighters are going to check in on 134 the bombers can check in to get threat warnings and stuff like that as well so if you join a multiplayer server that has the ability for human gci get ready to switch over and follow the directions because i can pretty much guarantee you're going to get more kills and there's less chance of blue on blue because you're going to be actively directed by someone who can see a much bigger picture than yourself I'd like to take this opportunity now to thank everyone who has liked and subscribed on the channel. Your support is really, really appreciated. And if you want to come and join us on Discord, I'll include a link in the description below. We've grown to over 800 members in two weeks, which is crazy, but everyone's having a great time finding wingmen and finding people to just mentor them through modules. Of course, always for free. So I'm going to leave that there. It's just a brief introduction to Lot ATC, where to get it and what you can do with it, pretty much. I hope you and your families are all safe and well. And on that note, Tactical Pascal, out.